Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see material requirement planning, MRP run, that is MRP run in both MM and production planning, material management as well as production planning. What is the process I'm going to do is, I'm going to buy raw material from the vendor by running MRP. Okay, and I'm going to run MR, MRP for finished goods as well as in raw material, for raw material. Okay, and I'm going to send it to the production line. I'm going to send the raw material to the production line. Get back the, get the finished goods. That is what I'm going to do. So, let's go to the system. This is my system. I'm going to create three material. Okay, MM01. Mechanical engineering. First, I'm going to create finished goods. Sales. Let me select sales tab. Thousand. So relocation triple zero one sales organization thousand distribution channel 10 10 finished goods finished goods each let me enter zero percent enter so transportation group let's select the transportation group on balance loading group let me select manual so here i'm going to select pd mrp mrp as pd 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 mrp Hit press enter so mrp controller one who controls mrp lot size select the lot size ex ex lot for order lot quantity press enter now, I haven't selected MRP, MRP4, go to MRP4, repetitive manufacturing, then I select repetitive manufacturing, REM profile, select 0001, REM profile, select production version Z333, production version. Valid from, select valid from, valid to. Repetitive, select repetitive. Continue. Press enter, enter, enter. Valuation class, select valuation class. Schedule margin key, select schedule margin key. Seven one nine zero. Second metal, raw metal. What is our create? Raw metal. Thousand triple zero. Sorry, raw metal. ROH one each. This time it's going to be. B1. This is raw metal. I'm going to buy it from outside. B1. Reorder point 200. 200. Here it is HB. Replenish to maximum stock level. 180. Maximum stock is this 250. Valuation class 3000. 1. 7191. 7191. Okay. Now let's go to let's create another one more material. Thousand. Triple zero one. ROH two. Each. V one. MRP type is going to be V one. Reorder point two hundred. Same. Lot size HP. 250 maximum stock. Seven one nine two. So these two are raw material. Two are raw metal. ROH. ROH. This is finished goods. Foot. SAP terminology. Foot. Now I'm going to execute MRP. MD01. Across for both, it will get uh, uh, 
it will be creating requirement for all the three material mt01 okay. for third it will be plant order for these two it will be purchase requisition okay let's see that go and create execute plant thousand See here, planned order created, purchase requisition created, two. Planned order, purchase requisition created. Now come back. Let's go to MD04. 7192, purchase requisition. See here, purchase requisition. Let's take this. Purchase requisition. 91. Let's take the purchase requisition here. Purchase requisition. Now come back. 90. Let's go to 7190. No, nothing has been created. That's because we haven't created the demand plan. Let's go and create a demand plan. MD61. 7190. Okay. Let's create demand plan. 100 for this month and 110 for next month 120 for next month. third month second month sale now let's run the mrp md01 again i'm going to run the mrp again see here planned order created three so for the three line item it has created three planned order let's go ahead check the md04 slash and md04 see here this is the planned order. Planned order. For this. Planned order. order. One. Planned order. Three planned order for this. It's been created for this material. Now. I'm going to buy the material from outside. Okay. First, for the for the for this two raw material, I'm going to buy the material from outside. Let's go to slash and me 21 yen. Document overview on. Select onto this purchase requisition. Purchase requisition. Delete onto this material. Execute. So this two, one and two, double seven six and double seven, these two, right? Select and add. Select and add. Okay. Now we enter the vendor. Select the vendor. Let me select the vendor. Thousand. Thousand. Let me select, delete onto this. Select the window. This is my vendor. Let me select this one. Present. Let, let, let me enter the purchasing organization. 1000. Net price. 1000. Net price. 2000. Triple zero. Triple zero. Currency. Zero. And save it. So this may purchase all. Now I'm going to do goods reserve. Let me do goods reserve. Go to slash and MI0. Let me do goods reserve. Non order item. Okay. Okay. And post. Let's 
Now, let me go to MMB and check. Check the inventory. 7191. 7191 7191 triple zero one execute should be 250 7192 next to 7192 that is also 250 now let me go to MIR go to MIR let me enter purchase order number Calculate tax, baseline date, enter, go to basic data, enter this sum. 7,000, 7,50,000, 7,50,000. Euros. Post. Now I have done material management part. Now I'm going to do production plan. Production plan. Let me go to, I'm going to create product cost collector. This is purely production plan. KK, KK F6N. KK F6N. Okay, product cost collector for this material, 7190. Before that, let me create bill of material, CS0. I have to create bill of material, 90, main material, 90. Okay. Form usage one for production. For production one. Present. Seven nine seven one nine one. Quantity one. Seven one nine two. Quantity one. These two are all components. These two are components. Okay, this is the main component. Okay, the main component. Finish. Present and save. Let's save it. Save it. Now let me do product cost collector. Go to KKF6N. New. Enter the number, metal number, main material number 7190. New. Okay. Order type. Select the order type as RM01. Production version. Select the production version. This is my production version. The triple three is my production version. Confirm. Now save it. Just a warning message. Save it. Yes. See here, now I have run product cost collector. Now come back. Let's come back and do MFBL. Go to transaction for MFBL. REM confirmation. Repetitive manufacturing confirmation. Okay. Let's enter the material. Before that, let's select the plant order. Let me enter the material number here. For the material number, this is my material number. 7190 is my material number. 7190 is my material number. Okay, this is my planned order. That's it. Enter the storage location. 0001 is my storage number. Okay, now post with click on to post with correction. Yes. Click on to no. Material, bill of material has not been exploded. Let me enter it manually. For a training purpose, I'm entering it manually. Quantity 100. 100. Enter plant 1000. Storage location 0001. Thousand, so thousand. Plant is also thousand. Storage location triple zero one. 
triple zero one. So hundred hundred. I'm I'm sending this to raw material to the finished to the production line, and I'm going to get the finished. Now save it. Let's save this. So now goods received has been done, and goods issue of raw material and goods received for finished goods is also being done. Let's check the MMPA transaction. 7190, it should be 100. 7191, should be 150. Previously it was 250, now it should be 150. See here, 7192. 150. This is how you do repetitive manufacturing using material plant. This is also called as forecasting. Forecasting is also done. Thank you.